Let's have a look at what we got here. All right, we are liberating someone. Proceed to Itrom, where we will assist the liberation. Rapid damage dealing potential. <laughs> okay. Interesting. Interesting. I'm definitely travel for this though. 18 days. Uh, I'm pretty sure. What did I get? I got a PPC. We'll see if the PPC wants to go on anyone. Uh, and we need to jam you in the mech bay because... You're not cramming up my money. Don't be taking my money. So you can go... You can go... PPC, probably, I think the Banshee. We'll have a look. Uh, what have you got? You've got 15. And you've actually lost yours. Okay, so it's going to be you. Oh yeah, and the AC5. Uh, so you can go. Yeah, we're looking for PPC over here. Confirm you. I haven't actually had the chance. I've only had that one mission where I got to punch. Gets, I guess punching against... Uh, gets a little scary when there's a bunch of heavies on the board. Uh, and then AC5, that would be you, sir. What have you got? I think you've... Yeah, okay, so he's already got the same. Oh, you have? Oh, God, for a second, what? You do have one. All right, we'll refit you, though. Totally forgot my Highlander had one. It's just because the Gorse rifle takes uh, precedence every day. So you can come off. Should have a decent... Oh, that's pretty nice, actually. Confirm that one in. This should all get done as we travel. And then we're good to roll. Right. I'll get it in the schedule. Uh, I didn't check out the stores from memory before I left. So just make sure. I think I said I would check it out before I left. Uh, that looks complete garbage. I'm pretty sure you're selling nothing there. Can I sell you some stuff though? Do you want a bunch of mechs? What would you like? Uh, I could sell that. I'll sell you one of these though. Since I've got lots of them. Probably sell you... Yeah, we'll sell you this as well. And we will do the contract. Roger that, Commander. Course plotted. Uh, I'll need to train my pilots before I go in as well. I think there's a couple who got some skills there. We've got plenty of money. So rapid damage, eh? I wrapped up that job you asked for, Commander. Good for you, buddy. Let's roll. Oh, I'm not actually. Uh we'll keep on with that. I'm not actually putting anything on my Argo here. What do I want? Mm, tempted for this one seems to come up the most the upgraded lounge and she will do this I'm sick and tired of traveling so slow Roger that commander I'll get the crew moving real sick and tired of that slow speed moving A distress call. Well, uh, 
We could stay out of it. I'm pretty sure that'll make everyone unhappy. We could investigate. I'm pretty sure that makes everyone unhappy. This one normally always gives you an increase. We're at 50 now. We're maxed. The other thing they could probably do is some slight variation to some of these random uh, events here. There isn't... You normally always know taking the Samaritan choice is always the good choice, right? I'd like one where they maybe made the choices a little bit more ambiguous. Interesting. I've I've always done the... I tried the other one, the be cautious and go at it slow because I thought it was going to be horrible. And uh, that one they actually blew up. And uh, I got negative one on that. Uh, we're good to... L no, we're not. We need to do barracks first. So that's interesting. I reckon they must have... You pick it and then they must roll... They must just roll on it, right? Just a random roll, and you've probably got like 90% chance for it to be good, and a 10%, well, probably like a 8% chance for it to be bad, and 2% chance for it to be god awful. Waiting for orders. Uh, I don't want to skill you Standing into by. that. You don't need any skills. Commander. I actually want. Mm, kind of want more pot. Is that? No. Okay. Down for a bit more piloting from this guy. Just for the punch here. Yeah. I d it's definitely not a sure thing. Because I've seen... I've tried the same thing on two missions, and it's on exactly the same thing, and it's given me different results. Like the Yang one, where you feed him the triple F. Uh, the first time I did it, he was super happy and gave me more tech points. And then I fed him triple F again, and he uh, <laughs> he basically shat himself. <laughs> the poor guy. Uh, I'm pretty happy with this loadout. He was not he was not impressed with the next load of triple F we got him. <laughs> I was like, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. I gave him. I did exactly that. I gave him the. Twice. So the first time he was fine and he gave me some tech points and the second time he just... He was not having a happy time. And I'm pretty sure the janitor was probably not having a happy time after him. <laughs> Poor Yang. So now, no longer do I feed him triple, triple F. I give, um... You get the upgrade for the hydroponics and then you no longer need to feed Yang, you can feed everyone. Alright, uh, so what do we need to do here? Take advantage of sensor interference. Eliminate mix. To secure resource. Act quickly to prevent... Oh, okay, so we're a little timed. Good thing I'm in assault mix. We'll see how we do. I always feel like these all these missions... Are gen generally timed. Yeah, the so I tried. I, I haven't had the coffee one in a while. Normally, I go with the splitting one, and it seems to work out all right. I have given it to Sumaya. And that didn't work out well for me. That actually made two of my people unhappy. Welcome to the Badlands. Badlands. Uh, rich in exotic elements that play havoc. All right. Badlands are a gold mine. Yeah, you just told me that. You literally just told me they're a gold mine. <laughs> I needed to capture at least one of these silos. <laughs> Just one. Choose your target, engage its defenders, and destroy them. You need to act quickly, go. We'll wire them to self destruct. Some radiation. 
So you can detect them, but they won't know you're there until you enter... Oh! Interesting. Sounds pretty easy, actually. One working silo is your primary objective. We can always use more. The restoration will pay an additional bounty for each silo you capture beyond the first. Good hunting, Commander. Thanks. Yeah, my permanent depressives. They're actually no longer in my lineup, unfortunately for them. Uh, how far do we have to go here? Okay, we have to go a fair bit. Doesn't tell me how long until they blow up, but... We'll just start a little sprint. No sense contacts, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't mind like that they're, they're just gonna be permanent staff members now, I think. They're just they're just riding the Argo forever. Since uh Hellbender and Decker these are actually I don't know. If I had to do it all again, Decker wouldn't be here. Hellbender's good. He's as he should be. Decker should be a Hellbender. He should have multi shot and breach. These two. I should have given myself maybe sensor lock as well, but it's okay. I should be a little careful on my sprints, but uh, that looks okay. Yeah, if you're pretty careful, you shouldn't lose you guys, right? The first few missions are maybe probably the real places you're going to lose people because you don't have enough time to give them guts quick enough, but other than that, uh, we're going to take small sprints here. I don't want a line of sight something a little funny. Since we've got no contacts. There we go. I lost glitch. Like, I would have everybody... Uh, actually, who have I lost? I've lost glitch and I've replaced uh, one of my pilots as well. Panzer was the one that killed me. Had I known that you could get those turrets to actually live for longer, I would have been better off, but yeah, I just... Panzer just destroyed me. I lost, uh... I think I lost Glitch in the Centurion. To a, uh, punch, I believe. I can't remember who rolled in and punched me. Somebody rolled in and punched me. These guys have no idea I'm here, so we'll give them a bit. It shouldn't be line of sight. It doesn't look like they're moving. Could look for something like this, actually. Send another sensor? Okay. I'm assuming by wiring it to explode just means they turn and trying to shoot it. Unless it's going to give me a countdown in a sec. <laughs> That's the thing, right? As if it can happen to you. If you can do it, it can happen back. As poor old... Uh, Diabolus said, right? Take an AC right at the end and it's all down I think I'm gonna have to sprint this corner to shoot these guys what are they is she uh... okay it's not bad can we get a sprint going on can you keep up Keep up, buddy. Keep up. Just seems like a time sink more than anything. Uh, nobody wants to move? 
I suppose that, yeah, that is the other scary thing, right? Is uh, you might not. You're expecting the AC20 to take your head off, but suddenly. Suddenly, your death from above. Death from above could kill you. Two, two feet to the head. It's all over. Once again, I had another PvP match where uh, somebody DFA'd me twice and it was two. two flimmin' heads gone. That was a rather short PvP match. You're getting close, Commander. Be careful with your positioning. If they pick up a visual on you, they'll go on high alert, sensors or no sensors. Mm -hmm. It shouldn't be vision. Uh, why am I sprinting the Orion in? Because that would be insane. Oh. Big old nasty vehicle in there. Big old nasty vehicle. Okay, so that's vision right there. What is this? That looks like radiation. Ouch. Uh, DFA's probably got to be the scariest one out of the lot, because at least you can expect the AC, but suddenly surprise fire starter from half a screen away. Even if they punched you, they could technically then uh, fire in with an AC-20, because at least you can brace into the AC-20. But if someone punches you and removes your brace, you're absolutely pooed on as well. All right. Uh, time to brace through all this, and then we'll crush him. What do we got? What's back here? What are you, sir? You're not too bad. It's probably going to be this guy first. How much vision do we get? Swing in that corner. So you take there. Uh, you're one step ahead, right? Okay, cool. Cool. Alright, so that's not too bad. It's only going to be PPC. <laughs> oh, good, Jackie boy. Thanks for watching. SRM carrier. Hello, sir. Alright. Act quickly. They will self destruct. So, what do we got? Five rounds? Easy. Uh, whoa. Okay, that silo really wants to explode, doesn't it? Uh, vehicle first. Everyone else is braced. This is not too bad. This guy's actually really... Ooh. I suppose this guy's a fair bit of damage. The one B is actually not too scary, and he's not too scary. This guy's probably the most damage here. Uh, I'm tempted to swing the corner with you too. Although we've got no shots here. So we'll drop in the LRMs. <clears throat> Mm, what are we looking at? We're dropping everything. Yeah. We'll probably go easy on the ammo for the rest of these guys. But everyone else should die here. What are you? See, this would be where... Uh, she... Hmm. I was going to say breaching shot would be nice here, but I don't think it really matters. Can we actually clear you in a go? Not quite. 
80, 160. We could if everything hit the torso. And we'll just take the corner and brace. <clears throat> And then you, my friend, can just probably brace as well. We'll wait for all these guys to unbrace. As soon as they all unbrace, they're dead. Oh, hello. Okay. Thought he was about to escape out the side there. That man is no evasion. Come on. You know you all want to embrace. If I was these guys, I'd just shoot this thing. I mean, who's who's self-destructing it? <laughs> Did you really brace? Ah, cool. You just got evasion. Yeah, he's a little scary up front. They see twos will do nothing, but the uh, four medium lasers will do some work. Surprised you didn't fire. Uh, let's have a look. I'm tempted for that. We'll drop LRMs here. We'll see what's left of this stuff at the back. Before we go in for that punch. That's a shame. Uh, I guess that means the only multi shot I've got is you. It's actually a hard multi shot. I've only got four chances. I could punch you, and then what do you got? Mm hmm. We could just dual punch this man. This guy then gets to wail on us a bit. Yeah. So you would take that slot there. This guy I actually think can't fit. Yeah, he can't fit. We can't dual punch. You punch that and you fire up there. I think is how we're going to roll this. Kablam! Oh, that's not the greatest spot to hit. Alright, we need to clear this guy now. Uh, you, my friend, we're just going to have to clear you. <sighs> yeah, Banshee. I just want to wail with the Banshee, but, uh... Alright, what are we looking at? Ooh. I'm tempted to cool shot this. Precision strike, sorry. Uh, just because it's not actually too far off killing him. We would need... At least two of the lasers to hit three of the rockets. Yeah, so this is pretty good chances, right? And then the AC to it. I could turn this off. One of these. I I'm tempted for that. The AC-20 is probably not needed. All I needed was at least one laser and one rocket, right? Fairly good odds out of all that. Now, I could finish you too. This is probably overkill. I need 3 out of 15. I think I've got decent chances for that. It could spray... If it hits here, I don't think you can hit here, but we'll see how we go. From memory, the way it works is... You roll on the first shot, and then from there you have chances to hit around where it hits. <clears throat> but only to one one compartment, I think. Can't remember. I saw it, and it's been a while since I've seen how LRMs do it. 
pretty sure it's only one compartment over. How do I do this? Uh, we'll reserve. We'll let the bench go in. We've we got three rounds. Yeah. Uh, so the Banshee fires. Hello, Banshee. Banshee fires, takes off the last of this. This guy is probably going to get to shoot us again. I'm not impressed. That's a reasonable amount of damage. So we're going to have to probably vigit this one. Wow, he actually... Uh, he's doing a whirlwind and... Oh, he's radiation. Okay, I thought it was... Um, I thought it was a mineral field for a sec. Yeah, PVC does a lot of work now. Can I swing this? Well, not really. I think I just go for the knockdown. Mm, who has the missile count for this? Probably Decker went. Damn you, Decker. One LRM should get him through. You both do. Okay, so like that. So that should get him down. Cold shot with the AC. To the CT. He's still really solid though. Hmm. Might just get in close. Hundred and sixty two hundred and something. Alright, this need some decent odds for this. Uh, shooting him in the legs not decent odds. So this man's gonna get up before Yeah, he gets his turn first. I don't think Decker can really do this in one go. What's he need? It's a waste of ammo, I think. We're just going to beat on him with these two. Unfortunately, this guy's probably going to get shot. Why am I getting my turn first? He should have gone up. I won't argue with that. I will not argue with that. Uh, so we'll take our second round of firing in here. Should get him this turn. Oof, we're running really hot. Engineers deployed. Defusing charges. Nicely done, Commander. Well done. The storage silo is ours. I'm marking an evac zone on your map. Whenever you're ready, you may proceed there for extraction. I love it. It's like, okay, cool, you've got one silo. Now there's probably like about 50 bad guys roaming around here, but don't worry. You can leave now. Uh, so we want you towards the front. You towards the front. We're not going to sink quite as much heat sprinting here, but... I'm almost tempted to evac here, just so I don't have to suffer through three more silos. Where's the evac? I'm almost tempted for this. Mm. Battlemaster's actually really nippy for an assault. I mean, look at the distance. Look at the difference in that. I struggle a little with the stock ba battle master, though. He does um, he does come with a hodgepodge of weapons, which isn't great for him. Uh, where's the next one? What are we looking at? Where's the entry? Uh, really? Is that the entry point? <sighs> He's damn fast. <laughs> I 
only problem is there's nothing... I can't imagine there's anything else that I want here. Besides money. I'm tempted to just be like, cool, I got a silo, now let's leave. Uh, we'll do one more. We'll see what's behind door number two. If door number two is not entertaining, then door number three can probably just get ignored. Whoa, he just teleported a little. Uh, okay, I'm not too... That spot seems like it might be a bit of a trap. I mean, one, if one of these doesn't have... <laughs> that's the sad thing now, is if they're not hiding assaults, then they're pretty much not worth my time. Uh, we'll take to the side... Um, no, we'll take to the side. There's something weird. Uh, there shouldn't be anything weird. We'll do the Banshee and we'll see what we get. Okay, we got over there. That means we can just sprint straight in, I think. Fifty, fifty, twenty vehicle. Alright, number three, door number three is gonna get ignored. Cash be damned. Ah, uh, you guys come on in. I mean, what are we getting paid? We're getting paid, I think, a mil 1.7. For each of these ads, 10%. Another 500k? It's not. It's like a mech. It's like a mech these days. It's not worth my time. <laughs> I'm starting to turn into a real mercenary now. If it ain't paying me well, it ain't getting done. I'll take to probably here with the Battlemaster. No vision. Uh, what kind of setup is this? A 50 ton and a 50 ton. I really want that vehicle. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, it's a sad day for Lady Arano here, but... Oh, that's bad. Um... Is there a spot on this side? Okay, not that one. Please, stop at that one. Sad day for Lady Arano, but... I don't care about your minerals. Uh, can everyone else kind of sprint in? Oof. I wish you could sprint all at once. I mean, this is, uh, I suppose, we're in the initiative phase. I know you can do it when you're not in the initiative phase, but if it's my turn, it's my turn. <laughs> it sucks for these guys. You're just minding your own business. Meanwhile, oh, meanwhile, Flamin' punch of assaults on a heavy are just literally over the corner. He's like, Dave, what are you having for dinner tonight? Well, I don't know, Bob. And suddenly Bob's about to get absolutely hammered. So we're all going to be braced, right? What we really want is this guy. We know he can't brace. Damn, that's a poor maneuver there. Uh, so, Battlemaster, you're going to have to Vigi in. What do we got? A Centurion. Are you going to be another Centurion? Lock and load, Bravo Lance. 
We've got company. I'd just be like, if, if I saw this thing come over the hill, I'd be like, mm, yeah, that's gonna be a little rough. Yeah, this is. It seems like a lot of a time sink. And then as soon as I saw something like the banshee come over the hill, I'd be like, okay, Bravo Alliance, time to eject. Uh, we'll jam everything into this guy. It's just the travel times between these. And you have to slowly stealth up in a mech. This is like the, uh... It's somebody tried to think of how you could do a stealth mission in a mech. We'll take the Banshee in. I could, uh, I could risk a sprint with this. Alright, we're just going to drop all of our rocket missiles. Because... We're not holding back anymore. Like, I haven't minded most of the missions. But yeah, this one is... <laughs> I mean, uh, somebody tried to think of a stealth mission, right? How do you do a stealth mission with mechs that have crazy-ass sensor ranges? You give them... You give him some blindness. Oh, damn. Oops. Oh, well. Well, the Centurion AL gets to... Well, yeah, we didn't even make him unsteady the first turn, so... Second turn of firing didn't matter. <laughs> this guy doesn't even... This light knows what to do. He's like, I know exactly what's going on here. I am not running out into vision. I'm just gonna hide in this little corner. Whoa, Trebuchet is running. Uh, ooh, Trebuchet entrenched himself. This guy's actually well armored. The AL's got a. It's one of the better armored mediums from memory. Uh, 880. What is this? I think a Kentaro has 700 and something. Yeah, that, that Locust Pilot's just like, <laughs> guys, I don't think I'll be joining the fight here. Is there any way I can get on top of you? Please tell me. Nope, no Kung Fu mech today. Uh, You know what, though? Is that the... Yeah, you're giving me the good side. Okay. It's unfortunate. Oh, you know what we're going to do? knock them and then call shots with our lasers. I should go for the... I really should go for the trebuchet, but this guy's in a world of pain. Mm -hmm. I'm actually... Yeah, the, maybe I should make the battle master into the punching mech. Uh, let's just drop everything. We just want to get through him. Excellent. What do we got? Mm, we're going to be close. Uh, we've got 80 out of the smalls, at least. So we should be able to call shot with everything. Yeah, he's dead. And this guy's like, please, sir, <laughs> leave me alone. I am but a locust. All right, here we go. Yeah, this is... That's a lot of heat, but that's a lot of damage. Good day to you. Oh, damn. Yeah, maybe I should make the Battlemaster into the punching mech, because this Banshee is actually struggling a little. Now, I kind of need to... This freaks me out being in this. But we're going to go in with you. Especially with Ari, it freaks me out with him even more. Tempted to just unload. Is that the back? Oh no, sir. Oh. What a time to miss with the AC-20. I don't even know what this move is. 
This uh, trebuchet just... I don't think he quite read his manual right and stuck his mech into reverse. Ah, just drop all the LRMs on his back. I don't suppose there is... Is that direct fire? No, there's no direct fire. Please. No, okay. I'm pretty certain this is not an angle either. Nah. Yeah, he was, he was drinking on the job. Ah, this is unfortunate. I'm pretty sure I'm one step away from getting... Uh... Back shots again. That's fine though. Uh, what's this guy want to do? He's probably going to turn and fire this turn, right? Into the radiation. Good luck, my friend. Uh, what? Are you firing on that? Wow, that looked like he was firing on that for a sec. <laughs> I was like, uh... Yeah, don't, don't be firing on that thing. I don't want to explode here. We'll reserve. Oh, please, tell me. It's a punt. Mm. No punch in time. Okay. Uh, we'll just keep our ass out of this. I'm going to multi-shot. No, 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 wait. You should have multi-shot. Yes, you do. I'm going to multi-shot this. I just want to shred that evasion so that we can have a good time with, uh... A good time with the AC-20. I'm gonna be careful with that heat, actually. Oh, wrong button. Yep, thanks for the menu. So we'll drop you in. Last of the evasion goes... AC-20, he's only unstable. Might go for a, a precision on the torso here. Wow, that arm's hurting. I'll probably go for a precision. I think he's in death range. Uh, we'll shift like this. Might actually be a little too hot. How far are you? So we would need the AC plus something else. Probably this. I think we can just chill with these two AC in. Eh, why not? It's going to be close. Uh... AC definitely has the hit. We were about, I think about 40 odd damage over. Which is... 4 SRMs over, so I suppose we only needed 2. Which is pretty good odds. Uh, this guy's insane. He's like, I could move, I'm a tiny little mech. But you know what? I don't wanna. I think these guys were definitely drinking on the job. The Locust Pilot is dazed and confused. Can I get you out of this? I, I just don't trust. Just do not trust death zones. <clears throat> Alright, buddy. Uh, have you got direct fire? You sure do. Shred him. <laughs> Still raining the damage down. I don't think there's much left of this guy. Right arm, right torso, center torso, left torso. Whoa. That sucks for that guy, and we're just leaving that other stuff uh, 
stuff the other one. How far is it? Ugh. Yeah. The completionist in me says do it, but I'm not gonna. It's just not worth the time, I think. For a second I thought that was a water tile. I was like, how is there a water tile in, uh... <laughs> like, I'm assuming it's only going to be 10, 20% at the most for each one of these. And I'm already sitting on chassis after chassis of mech, let alone weapons and money. I mean, I could start selling weapons if I wanted to. Become an arms trader at this rate. And it's just not worth. Unless she's gonna suddenly withhold something. Yeah. That I was tempted to just evac at one. I was tempted for that. Alright, so it's just you, my friend. Hellbender, get in. Everyone else should be able to just brace in here. Bam! I love how it I love it how it pauses on that. It cracks me up when you do a jump into zones and you have a mech that's half jumping and he just pauses in the sky. Good work, Commander. Alright, major setback. Yeah, three cheers. Excuse us, Leo. We need to get these mechs hosed down. Decontaminated. Mission successful. Yeah, that's the thing. You go into the mission, you're like, oh yeah, I've got to get all this stuff, and then you're like, nah. Because all those other ones just make it seem real important to do everything. This one, it's just like, uh, money. We ain't saving anyone's lives here. In fact, what are we doing with those minerals? Uh, uh, 25. Alright, so I suppose... It could have been... Uh, my time's more worth... <laughs> my time is worth more. God, for your silly, silly mix. Uh, so we've got anything that's shiny. That's nice. I'll take that anyway. I'm pretty sure I'm missing one cockpit mod. Unfortunately, I'd like a better comms unit. Yeah, that's the thing. I'm rolling in, I'm rolling in chassis, right? Let alone. Yeah, right. I would like the only thing I really want is a better comms unit, like a Griffin. Griffin's definitely not worth. I could have got excited about that probably about thirty hours ago. I think it would have been nice if they'd made these dynamic as well. Like it goes, okay, I can see that you've got three assaults and a heavy. Let me just ramp it up a little. Because I'm pretty sure these are static. I've done Panzer twice. I've done up to Panzer twice at least. And it was literally all the same stuff.
Because that way, if you wanted to do the storyline with lesser mechs as well, they could dynamically ramp it down for you. For my mechs? My loadout for my mechs? Yeah, sure. Let me just get through Samantha here. Lady Arano. After almost two years. I nearly lost hope. Alright. Wait. How did we liber... I must have not been paying enough attention because I swear we weren't liberating her. I swear we just ripped some minerals out of the ground. I owe you my eternal gratitude. Alright, so the thanks. <laughs> We're here because we need your help. Yeah, just get to it, woman. I'm gonna be honest with you, lady. Gallus. Gallus. I had to wade through a sea of blood to reach you. Okay. War weary and outgunned. A mm. continued survival is anything but certain. Uh, yeah, we did lose the other guy, so hopefully we didn't tell her that. Alright. Oh, Madeira. <sighs> You'll need to break the alliance. You need to travel to Gud Gudra. Alright. Lord Madeira Buttercake. Not another lead to follow. Yeah, I'm pissed. This isn't just a lead, it's concrete proof! Why would anyone keep any evidence? Ah, oh, here we go. House Madeira. Fair enough. Ooh. Who are you? And... Okay, so he's the leader of the Torrens. And he's not going to be obviously happy with whatever we find. DNA locked. Alright, so you better survive, my friend. Oh my god, you're going to come into combat. <laughs> I pray. Alexander, alright? Well, she died. <laughs> oh, sensors are picking up evidence. Fuel air explosion in the capital. Is gone. Yet another mass murderer. Wow, man, they just got trashed. Vengeance comes later. People are dying down there. Get emergency services to the capital, medical teams. Well, I'll dispatch our forces right away, but then I must return home. But otherwise, I need to go alone. Hmm, go alone. I bet you it's a trap, my friend. Please, I am on du <laughs> duty bound. Core system. Fortress. Yeah, have you not seen what's been going on, my friend? Does anybody here trust fortresses these days? It seems pretty much like orbital bombardments and uh, nuclear bombs are abound. Oh, the nukes are banned, aren't they? Uh, Alright, hate to break it to you, but right now the Argo isn't all that safe. Yeah, because we do have a mole as well. Uh, yeah, it's all falling apart. Oh, yeah, yeah, fair enough. None of us are safe. <sighs> I had enough. Yeah, I thought nukes were banned, and that's the whole point in the mix, right? <laughs> yeah, no sense in drawing this out any longer. Let's get to work. You heard the commander back? Yes, thank you. Thank you, Darius. My god. Uh, some more experience. Yang? Oh, Yang didn't assemble anything. Okay, so my loadout is pretty heavy these days. Like, super heavy.
Also, my game's starting to have a bit of enough. Uh, so we got the Orion. My Orion's actually... Okay, my game is struggling a little now. I do need to patch as soon as I can. I just need to finish the story. Uh, so my Ryan runs an AC5, a fairly decent AC5. Yeah, that's a Darius is on point. Like he knows what. Actually, this thing looks pretty beastly now. Is that my Orion? Jesus, he looks pretty munty. Uh, he's got an AC5. He's got a TTS for missiles, from memory. He's got a crap ton of LRMs. I actually downscaled the LRM-15 from an LRM-20 because I wanted to have... use less missiles, and it does two stab damage anyway. So that's basically my missile boat. Then my Banshee is the punch monster with... Uh, the hardened cockpit, bunch of lasers, bunch of PPCs, dual, these dual heat sinks are doing wonders as well. I don't think this fit would work without the dual heat sinks. Ah, uh, the Highlander is definitely a missile boat. Actually, the Highlander is probably a fairly good monster as well. Dual LRM 20s, I need... What I need is I need stab damage probably on this LRM-20. He's got an AC-5 and the Gorse rifle. So, but it basically, basically the way I run it is I run two supports, a frontliner and a frontliner. And then my frontliners do the sense locking and the vision work while the two supports just absolutely hammer people. And then of course the Battlemaster with the AC-20. SRM, medium lasers. It actually looks pretty cool, that SRM up there. Hey guys, thanks again for watching. If you like what you've seen, hit that subscribe button or leave me a comment on anything you want to see in the future.